Hello and welcome to my course, Exploratory Data Analysis with R. My name is Andrea Cirillo. I'm a senior audit quantitative analyst at Intesa San Paolo Banking Group, one of the largest European banking groups, and I'm therefore used to a large amount of data and also perform exploratory data analysis on them. I'm quite used and experienced to R code. You can find the greatest part of the code I've developed on the my personal GitHub repository. You can find detail it there. I've also developed some useful and well appreciated packages with R, which are mainly updated, palletter, and they are devoted to help you make the best out of R functionalities, mainly within the realm of database. There are two publications I've wrote, which are R Data Mining and R Studio Cookbook. All of them are related to R code and how to use it to perform data mining activities. And finally, there is my personal website where you can stay updated about my packages, but also about R related stuff. And you can also subscribe there to stay acknowledged about new posts. The course is composed of seven sections that are structured in a compelling framework that will show you everything you need to know about exploratory data analysis and how to perform it with R language. In the first session, which is named Set the Stage, how to organize your EDA working area, you will learn how to set up your working area in order to reach two main objectives. The first one is the reproducibility of your analysis, which is a crucial requirement for data analysis projects. The second one is minimize operational risks arising from these kind of activities, like, for instance, losing data or losing previous versions of your code. Once you will be up and running, we will look into your data structure within the second section, which is called the investigate the structure of your data. To do this, we will leverage both base R functions and popular packages like dplyr. In the third section, which is called Don't walk on the eggs, check the quality of your data before using them, we are going to handle a third relevant topic, which is often neglected in the ADA courses, but is nevertheless crucial in the practical professional practice. This topic is the data quality. We will talk here about incoherences in data, missing values and outliers. All of this is relevant because, as you know, if you put garbage in your model, it will give you garbage out. Knowing how to handle this will give you an edge in your data-related activities. In the fourth section, which is called Summarize your data and investigate distributions, we will move on to look into your data identity card through summaries and distributions. To do this, we will both compute descriptive statistics to identify relevant measures as mode, median, and percentiles, but also we are going to visualize variables distributions employing ggplot. In the fifth section, we move into the realm of multivariate analysis. We will look here at relationships among data and variables, time-related patterns in variables and structural breaks in series, which could interfere with your modeling activities. In section number six, which is called test your model assumption, we are going to cover model assumptions to let you learn how to test them and avoid to apply the wrong model on your data. We will cover here both model assumption related to popular machine learning models like support vector machine and decision trees, but also the less fancy models like logistic regression and linear regression. In the last section, which is called quickly build a lean report to share results of your EDA, we will finalize all of the work you have done in the previous sections, learning how to develop an effective report around the results of your exploratory data analysis. To do this, we will cover here both the conceptual side, showing how to arrange content around the main highlights, 
and the technical side, showing how to use R Markdown to develop the report. As you can see, the course is conceived with a very holistic view of the EDA process, where every component helps the other to reach its objective. We start from the ground of the pyramid, where the setup is showed, and then on the section 2 and 3, we make some preliminary check on the data, understanding its structure and the presence of outliers or kind of problems on your data. In section number 4 and 5, we get into data exploration with patterns and summaries and descriptive statistics. Then, in section number 6, we actually validate assumptions of your model so to make choices about models you can apply on your data. And finally, on section number 7, you report the results of your analysis. Before moving to the prerequisites part, let me share with you one more thing which is distinctive of this course, which is the Pro Tips section. These Pro Tips are video placed at the end of each section containing advices distilled from my perfection practice that will make you well positioned for the use of EDA in your working life. Last come the prerequisites, which are both related to your skills and your software. On the skill side, we have a basic knowledge of RStudio and a basic knowledge of descriptive statistics like mains, median and mode. On the software side, you have just R language installed on your computer and RStudio desktop version. OK, it's now time to get into the first section where you will learn how to set up your working area for exploratory data analysis.